understand your motivation in life, maybe now it's traveling, okay, and adventure, but we are also very surprised because we are too young about this kind of uh, solidarity to uh, this project of help uh, people all around the world. Yeah. Well, um, I think that after I started dedicating uh, my life to helping others, uh, I have felt complete in a way that I didn't before. Uh, I have had many, uh, many other works and many other hobbies in my life. But, but when you know that other people are um, relying on you and, uh, and you feel you have a good project, then it all just makes sense in another way. Uh, you can have an interesting job. Before I did this, I was sailing. That's also adventurous and it's interesting in many ways. But something was missing because earning money for whatever company uh, is not my objective of life. That's not what I want to, to spend my life doing. Uh, but now I feel that I'm both doing something good for myself and at the same time trying to make the world a better place and that's actually what walking for water is about to try to to um, assemble people who use their own uh, personal uh, interests to uh, to get this project uh, successful mm -hmm. um, it's a way of um, showing that you you don't have to uh, it doesn't have to be a sacrifice to do something good. No matter what you're good at, you can twist it in an angle so you can use it to do good. So now your original project was crossing Spain from north to south directly mm -hmm. through Madrid. Yeah. But now you are in the coast. <laughs> what is this? Uh, the, the months are going up. <laughs> you thought first two years or two years and a half, maybe three now. What is happening here? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the journey surely isn't getting shorter. But as I said before, this is this is something that I like to do. It's not something that I suffer doing and want to get over with. Uh, so, from a personal point of view, it doesn't. Uh, it's not a big deal for me if it will be two or three or four years. Um, but the actual reason why I took the coast instead of uh, going directly through Spain was because I was already starting to follow the Camino Santiago uh, on and off from Paris. So when I came to Spain, I thought, yeah, let's finish it. You should finish what you start. And uh, a lot of people had been telling me that the coast was beautiful and that I should uh, consider going. Why not? along the coast and then I could also add another country, Portugal. So, uh, yeah. uh, now we know that there is a system uh, for water with pumps, with mm -hmm. many pumps that is already broken and now for that reason you start the project. Uh, but you think your project must be very important, number one, sustainable for the village and uh, for the energy. So can you tell us a little bit about this? Yes. Um, to put it very short, uh, the way this system works is that we have the village about 19 kilometers away from the nearest source of clean water. And to get it to the village, there has been built two pumps, uh, who works on diesel uh, engines, diesel uh, generators, and 19 kilometers of pipeline. These pumps have both broken down. They were built 10 years ago and they have never been fixed with original spare parts because they cannot be bought in the country. Um, so there have been emergency, emergency repairs all the way uh, every time it has been broken down. And in the end, if you don't fix it the right way, it's, it's just completely broken at last. So that is the problem we have. I have got a technical report made by an Australian NGO called Rigid Water Foundation. And uh, 
they suggest that we should make two new pumps also running on diesel generators um, because that's very reliable. It's a reliable system and if we do it right this time with spare parts that can be bought in the country and teach the locals how to fix it proper, um, then it will be the most reliable system. However, I got to talk with a guy who works in a solar company and he told me, I think this can be done with solar because I have seen it work in a smaller scale and then I got completely obsessed with this thought because if we can do it with solar energy, then it will be a pioneer system that can be used many places in Africa or other places in the world as well where they have the same problem. And I think the biggest objective to make this world, uh, to save the world, uh, is to save the environment. Because no matter if you are rich or poor, if, uh, if we uh, fuck up the environment, then we will we're all screwed. So I think it's a very important, important way to go. And then I started um, um, writing different companies that has to do with solar energy and so. And a big, big Danish company called Grundfos was looking in, into this for a long time. They thought they might uh, be able to find the solution but they were not able to. And my primary objective was still to get water for these people. So I could not wait forever for a sustainable solution when we already have another solution planned. Then I, and I must uh, at some point just say, okay, we can't wait anymore. I, I, I want to get some water for these people. And then, uh, then it must just be with the diesel generated pumps. So that's what we are aiming for now, but I'm still very, very uh, keen on doing it in a sustainable way if possible, just because the Danish company uh, couldn't find a solution. Maybe there is other companies out there. So if someone listening knows a Spanish company or any international company that works with solar or wind energy or any sustainable source, or maybe it's just a private person who uh, has a lot of knowledge of technical matters. Feel free to write me and I will send you all the technical uh, information. I have everything, uh, technical reports and plant drawings and the, the thoughts other clever people have made about this. And everybody interested are very welcome to look into it to see if we can find a sustainable solution. So the reason we think that you are designing this kind of uh, project of walking and at the same time uh, looking for some advertisements for big companies, through this media and project they can arrive to many uh, people all around the world and they can be uh, famous all the world around thanks to this project. Yes, when I do this adventure that is very special, going through 29 countries, uh, very remote places, uh, places many people don't usually go. Uh, I think it will be interesting enough to get media attention. The idea is to make it um, profitable to everybody involved. Oh, so I am walking for water. Yeah.